Hello everyone, welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I'm your host, and today we're going to be starting the Gold Rush. Which I think, if I believe right, has a, uh, well, I know, it has a western theme. So, it's trying to hit pay dirt by using an unsta unstable abandoned modern area to showcase low-rise roller coasters. Over time, you must start up, start to make an adrenaline, start to make up an adrenaline what you like and hate to keep the... Keep the claim stacked with the visitors. Sweet. Let's get this started in, ha. Huh? Alright. No game. Let's do this. Howdy partners, welcome to the new fucking park. Yeah, it's it's western. I'm so excited. This one I'm, I like this one. This one's nice, mainly because it's bright. It's a little foreboding, but you really get down and dirty with the whole roller coaster making, which gets a little confusing to me. Uh, I will butcher it later. And like I said, I'm going to keep playing this game probably until I finish just Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And if they're still interested in it, I'll come by and do the expansions later. But the amount of time I spend on each park is depending on how well I do. If I hit a roadblock, I will move on to the next one. And it unlocks usually like five ahead so there's plenty more to play anyways all right <clears throat> this one's gonna be a little bit trickier we have to have two coasters the minimum excitement rate minimum excitement rating of three and a minimum length of 305 meters uh with a monthly uh ride income of 300 which shouldn't take long but let's take a look at what we have to deal with here um we have already one roller coaster which i don't think is too bad. Let's take a look at the stats here. Yeah, see, see, there you go. Like, this one already has a pretty good excitement rating uh, of 6.63. I am pretty bad at making roller coasters with good excitement rating, but it also has, you know, pretty good height. Uh, finding a good spot for one isn't going to be too difficult, as long as we're careful. Plus, they're generous with turning up funds here, so... First things first, we, we mark any special people that come in here so we know when one of us is in here. And I'm sorry if I'm a little nasally and I have a cold. Surprise, surprise. My throat is slowly starting to seize up. We also need to go ahead and hire a mechanic. Place him down there. And since it's western, might as well make him a western color like yellow. That's Now he just looks like a... That's terrible. Uh, What's a western... Fuck, there we go. That's a little bit westerner. Uh, and we'll also hire a janitor too. We'll start out with one, and we'll go ahead and set his path. Um, I'll just name it Janny. That's fine. And we'll set his path to be. Let's see here. Can we? Here we go. Yeah, boy. Set up over here. Go check out the roller coaster area. This is all your area. We want to make sure he goes down to about, um, eh, it's a good spot, right about here. That's a pretty good route, I think. And there we go. And we're actually going to train him because we want him to be better at picking up shit. Now, I don't remember if this is the one, but there's a map that will trip you up. Uh, I don't think this is it, but I'll get to it later. There's a map that... Um, Look how big this thing is. At a later level, you, you start out with concessions, but it puts it in such a weird-ass spot, you will never find it. Ever. 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 But anyways, you see the place outlined in, like, Western Fence, which is pretty amazing, because it's so awesome. Uh, you could actually... Um, you can actually set up... You can actually buy that land. Unfortunately, it's pretty expensive, so we're going to avoid that. <laughs> Uh, I might, I don't know if I'd do that just to showcase it, but it's a pain in the ass. But anyways, let's start with building some concessions here. I've completely lost what I'm supposed to do. Steakhouse. Aw, oh, yes. Dwarfed by the size of whatever that is. We're going to go ahead and start throwing the food court. Kind of already secluded at the back. People have to walk through the park to get to it, so you have plenty of time to distract them into going uh, in further to the park so they'll go on your rides and stuff. It's all about saying, well, you know, I'm hungry, but I could also possibly... That's fine. We could also possibly you know, go to ride real quick before we go to... Uh, um, before we go to get food. 
uh, porter steak, potter steak. I don't know. I don't care. But anyways, boom. We got some food. We also want to set up some chairs. Oh, we want an ATM. ATM is also vitally important. We want to place one of those to the entrance. Just go ahead and turn that on. And we also want to place one at said vending area. We also want to place a bathroom. So let's make sure we get all the essentials right there. Turn that thing on. Don't know why you need to turn it on, but we won't worry about that. We also probably want to put an info station right about here so people know where to go. Let's go ahead and change the price. Well, umbrellas. People are gonna, not going to be end up buying umbrellas, so let's just go ahead and turn to 75 cents a map. You can get away with jacking the prices up in this game, which is something I'm not really used to. Because I'm usually, normally I'm used to like, uh, oh wow, these benches are pains in the ass. I'm used to like, if you turn the price up of a, of a fucking, hey, you get root beer, teeny root beer. Uh, if you turn the price up, just a dollar. Freaking theme hospital, it's game over. I'm gonna add ice. So give me sanction to go ahead and make it a little bit more expensive. Why would you need a lemon wedge and a blueberry juice? And a ginger ale. Usually add about 10 cents per condiment. Uh, and let them use... I really change it. It's actually pretty hot. So let's, let's give them a little bit extra ice. And we'll call this... Uh, um, how about something western-y? Rootin' Tootin' Root Beer. Yeah. Root bear. Nope. I can't see. Beer! You're in the way, cursor. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. Is it on? Did I, did I open it? Yes, okay. So it's not going to get a lot of business starting out, but then again, there's only 222 people in here, so. And most of them are going to be going to the roller coaster, but that will change. As soon as I build my own roller coaster, <laughs> it'll be fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, where's the benches? There we go. We also want some trash cans, of course, that are, uh, steer skull, which is freaking sweet. I uh, love the people who thought this up. I want to thank you for that. We also had some more benches, because people gotta sit. The old people that can't go on the rides and want to wait on their kids to get off, gotta have a place to sit. Go ahead and add some fences and stuff, a little decor. I love this game! It's so it's themed, which is funny. That's something I would expect myself to be so like fascinated with, but I am. It's weird. There's a mechanic. We also probably want to go ahead and hire a janitor. It's busy, busy work uh, today here in the old park. So, <clears> hold <throat> here in the old, what's it called? It's called something. Gold rush, yeah, man, gold rush. We need to get some gold. You'll be giving me some gold right now. Oh, cool. Didn't even turn the right on. Good job. Um, that is weird. I've never actually had that happen before. But for some reason, the rides are all turned off. That. Mm. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> this is also annoying. <laughs> One of your rides is like super far away. You could actually add a transportation ride. I've never done that. I think those bastards can walk on their own. But I mean, if you want to, you could you could probably uh, add one if you wanted to. But I mean, this is looking pretty good. So how? Oh, hey there. How is everybody doing today? Hope you're faring well. Faring well. I'm doing okay. Besides the fact I have a sore throat, and uh, yeah, my dog isn't feeling well, which kind of sucks. Everybody's getting sick now. I gave him an aspirin, it'll be fun. You can give dogs aspirin as long as, depends on the weight. I've figured out though, it seems it seems to work. He, he pitched his leg, he, he, did, he injured his leg when he was a puppy, so now he, he still hurts occasionally. We had a gentle ride, we had enough extreme rides, so maybe we should add something a little bit more kid friendly. Hmm. TNT Vortex, the bucking bull. Let's do the Rotivator. Yeah, let's add that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and see where's the road going. All right, there we go. Let's add it right there. Yeah? No? Yes. This is actually sort of a risk, but I will risk it. I 
suppose. Alright, this is actually going to be kind of tricky when setting it up here. But see, like, look, it's even also, it's also even, uh, Western theme. Now what you can do, I think, is also adjust the cues to be Western theme, which is pretty cool. Wood? Yeah, sure. No, it's not. Sand, thank you. You can also research different grounds, which is kind of weird, but you could, you could do that. Speaking of research, let's just see what we're actually looking at right now. I think it's sort of even. Water rides, we're not worried about. Transportation rides are useless. Scenery isn't really helpful. Paths, I could care less about. Show elements you don't get regardless right now. Uh, we'll show that where we eventually can get those and pulls the slides we're not really worried about. So up a roller coaster, junior rides, real rides. We'll even buff up our uh, research department just a little bit more. Good, our, our path didn't work. That's good. That's awesome. There we go. Now we can do. I believe, is we go to the queue and we can adjust what the queue looks like. Pretend or not there's a sign over the queue, which is weird. I don't really want to do that, but we can make it to where it has barbed wire fences. Which already does, I think. Can we change it to where the material on the ground is different? Um, hmm. Not. Oh well, no, no matter. Let's go ahead and test this thing, see if it makes sure it works. This ride is actually just like one of those weird drop four spinny G force things, which is fine. Some test results, pretty pretty high nausea rating, which is pretty good, pretty pretty good. Let's hire another janitor for the food court. So we're gonna need one. We're gonna need one. All right. We kind of want them both to meet in the same area. That'll give me a good idea of like what when I where I need guys at. So. Put you down there, and so I can tell you apart. You'd be wearing these cool yellow overalls and blue pants. I think that's what it is. I don't know what it is. And I will name you. So what's a Western name? What's a Western name? Pete. Yeah, Pete. Pete, man. The Pete. Pete Moss. He's a badass. Pete Moss. He used to be. An outlaw. Now he changed his way. He cleans up crap. Oh, my Buddha. That's always what he wanted to do in life. He, he was just a lost soul. Now he knows. He just wants to clean up poop. That's all he wants to do. There we go. Let's go ahead and make a fourth one and have him just roving. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's see here. Janet's kind of a kind of a Westerny name too. Let's see what's that other Western name. Huh? How about ooh, Elwood? Yeah, that's a good Western name, Elwood. Name old Elwood. You know, you know how about you know about Elwood? He's just he's a sucker for the ladies. Although the ladies aren't a sucker for him. He's a very sad man. He drinks 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 his sorrows away. He just doesn't know how to handle himself. Sometimes he gets out of hand. Breaking commodities, you could buy Indian feathers and all that stuff, but really, no one ever buys it at the beginning. How are we doing? Okay, so we haven't got any of them yet. But we haven't got a lot of rides yet either. So let's go ahead and. What are our ticket prices here? We got 10 guests on ride, which is good. Let's go ahead and crank it up just a little. Let's see if we can get our profit margin up a little bit. How much we're we getting off of rides here? Let's go ahead and hide empty ones. There's no point in having it. Ride running costs, construction, ride tickets. $268. That's pretty good. How far are we in April? Pretty far. Okay, so we probably need one more ride. We could probably push it over the limit of $300. we are going to try to concentrate on finishing that goal first because it's the easiest. Uh, we'll probably add another ride. Uh, let's see what we got. Wild West show, the Western Wheel, that's always a goodie. Let's add something a little bit. Hmm. What is this? Is this a thrill ride? This is a thrill ride. I don't know how bucking bowls could be a thrill ride, but then again. Junior rides, we'd add something for the kiddies. Uh, I've seen the spiral slide do very well in uh, previous plays, playthroughs. So we're going to give that a, sh give that a good old custard, custard go. Let's see here. Let's actually, you know what? We screwed up a little bit. Let's, let's make this. Okay, Western. Western this bitch. We're gonna make this. There we go. And then we're gonna place it there. 
and then we're gonna replace the entrance. Can we replace? Yes. Yes, and we want to make that one western, so we could fit the theme, of course. That's a shame that it doesn't do it automatically, but I won't worry about it. There we, go. there we are, now we're cooking with gas. Now this one's weird. This one has a Q, uh, a maximum Q of 1, so you have to keep that in mind. So, what you want to do is probably go ahead and set that up, there we go. And you want to go to the ride. Let's see if this is filming. No, I don't want to delete it. I want to delete it. Go ahead, go over here, test, and set the maximum amount of time that could be in there. And like, in one of the playthroughs, what I did is I just went ahead and like, uh, I like made, I jacked up the price like a majority of the way. It was, it was ridiculous. I don't want a minimum waiting time. Screw that. Uh, yeah, there we go. But what you do is you just jack down some of these things and hopefully it'll make it go a little bit faster. Because they'll pace themselves for some reason. Alright, let's turn this thing on. I jacked the price way up to try to defer people from going in there and they still did. They were like, screw you, Cal. I want to ride this freaking slide. It was another slide, by the way. Which were donk. The amount of, the amount of rides in this game, by the way, is just... I just, and there's so many of them, I have no idea how many there are. Oh, this, this looks like you're in a dryer, literally in a dryer. I'm gonna see what it looks like inside. I apologize about the volume ahead of time. Well, that's pretty plain, actually. There's not a lot going on. It's very, it's very just boring. Where's everybody? Oh, here we go. Hi, ladies. How's it going? You got, I would not leave your mouth open while you're doing this. This is a bad idea. Two people. We got two people. Oh, here comes, here comes this guy, girl. Who's this? Who's this? What's up, man? What's up? Hey, man. What's he doing over there? He's going to sit there. He goes, hey! Oh, you all up in me right now. That's weird. He's like, oh, I'm not so sure about this. Uh, look. Jeez. For a child, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's just a midget. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe my head's in the gutter. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. I could never do one of these in real life. That's for sure. I could never do one of those in real life. Anyways, now we always have our trump card, which of course is the pool. If we're not making enough money, we just make a pool in, li in like literally 15 seconds you will have the amount of money you need to get the first quota. I'm dead serious! Right before we go though, I'm gonna sort of show you, I think I might have already shown you how to do this, but you can go over here and um, change the part name and as well as I believe you could purchase land. Uh, you could buy an easement, but it's a little ridiculous, so you gotta be careful how much money you spend. Let's go ahead and sort of that yeah two thousand dollars Rick it's crazy it is not cheap to buy small pieces of land uh, and Chris that's like real life I suppose hey is this trying to speed up and see how peeps are doing do we have any VIPs in the building no we don't we don't have any VIPs I guess they only want to come if there's a pool I don't blame them it's very hot it's 78 degrees that is that is sweltering hot for some places I'm sure Huh, no custom families in here at all. That's kind of sad. How are we doing on the... No, we still don't have a monthly ride income of 300. We'll get there, though. How are we doing on the old finances? Mm, 433. It just hadn't updated yet. Is it still May? Yeah. We will get that soon. And we'll probably want to think about planning a new roller coaster, which is going to be... Pretty neat. I think I should try to stick to the theme here. Let's. Uh, what roller coasters do we have to choose from? Okay, we got the Heartline coaster, which I would recommend. Uh, very. Some of these are really complicated to make, so you have to be kind of very careful. Inverted can be pretty tricky, and they're expensive. Mine train coaster would make more sense. We already have one. Mini coasters are lame. Don't worry about those. Spinning wild mouse. That's a good one. Uh, it's got pretty high excitement. 
Um, let's take a look at some of the already built in. You could you could build your own, or you could try you know just using one of theirs. But see, like it already has it's like it's got an excitement rating of three hundred nine, and I th what's its length? Four hundred twenty eight point nine seven nine meters. That's pretty good. And it's actually really, really priced. Now, considering how bad I am at making coasters, and I imagine I'll make a bonus episode here soon of me trying to make coasters, I might just stick with the ones they already have. I am so bad at making coasters, it's ridiculous. Like, for some reason, I'll make these coasters. They're really elaborate. These really crazy looking roller coasters that have like an excitement rating of 0.4 and a nausea rating of like, 12 which is off the charts super extremely nauseating and it's got all of this really cool what's the, what's the other stat uh don't know it's got yeah high intensity high nausea but my excitement rating will be like 0.04 i don't know how i do that for some reason it has to do with length and um i, I did fine with the length which what you had to be sure is to not do is to make it too fast with the G's too much. It's actually pretty complicated which is Reese's peanut butter cups. We don't care about those. It's not on. Why is it not? Oh my god! Why is that roller coaster not on? Are you stupid? Oh well. <laughs> I thought I had it clicked. I did. But I guess I didn't. Let's go ahead and jack up the price some more. Yeah, that's what you get for them. there. See, there they come. They were just waiting for the roller coaster. All right, guys. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. When we come back. We will uh, probably just plop down a roller coaster, and then maybe the next episode I'll do a little bonus episode if Kyle tries to build a roller coaster. Uh, it probably won't go well, but it's actually really, really fun because oh my god, so many coasters, and all the coasters are different and like have different mechanics and stuff. And oh, I'm looking forward to it already. Alright guys, I will see you later.